Hello everybody, I hope that you are very well and welcome to a very special video that I have for you all today. It is going to be a re-release of a video update that I made two days ago for the players, contenders and champions in the group. And this was a video update that I made because generally it's in a text file, okay? This was a video update because I felt the need to do this after we had seen this very big move to the downside, you know, we were seeing so many people panic selling okay we saw extremely extremely aggressive selling at market on these lows and that just really highlights the fact that uh, you know 95% of people here I would say really did not know what they were doing and uh, you know just panicking and that's kind of normal in these type of markets where you can see you know nearly 300 million coming in at market sales um, and you know in this sort of situation you need to have a plan you need to stay calm and you really just need to you know trade what is happening on the chart and uh, in the video that I'm gonna, you're going to be seeing very shortly, <laughs> uh, you can see my thought process in the time, exactly what I was thinking, and then hopefully the, you know, the benefits that you, that members can can get from this sort of knowledge and content. Um, so yeah, basically. It's a re-release, so you know at the very least you can see my thought processes and hopefully learn from that. Or you know maybe you can also see the uh, you know the the value of the content that I give over at ChartChampions.com where you obviously will get daily trading updates generally in the form of a text file okay i do do generally now for the champions and almost daily live streams <laughs> as well um but obviously um, officially with there's two live streams a week where i do one live stream for the contenders which is all educational okay and uh, you know theory learning and then for the uh, second live stream a week is for the champions where I do live trading and, you know, really give in-depth updates on what I'm trading and how I'm trading. Um, so, you know, if you are interested in those sort of updates or just the general knowledge that you can gain from this, then, you know, chartchampions.com is the place for you. And it would be a joy to have you over there. Um, if not, then, you know, you can enjoy the update and this thought process that I went through and on obviously how we fully reaped the rewards of the rise to the upside here. Um, so, yeah. Hope that you enjoy this and yeah, sit back and relax. Cheers. Good morning, everybody. I hope that you are very well and welcome to today's trading update, which is going to be in a video format. Uh, the reasonings for doing it in a video format is because I feel that we're at a really important stage. Um, and also, I feel that there's going to be a lot of fear in the market right now. So much fear, so much confusion. And uh, for me to give you a video update, I feel hopefully I can sort of calm the situation because the worst thing you want to be doing right now is uh, just randomly buying, randomly selling with no, no idea what you're doing. Okay, you you are 100% going to lose money uh, if you trade in the spur of the moment off of just thinking, oh my God, what's going on? Don't know. Let's just sell. Um, so you have to think of this really, um, you know, slowly, calmly, and you know, there's, there's nothing to worry about at the moment here. This is a healthy pullback in my opinion. So, you know, I'm going to give, hopefully give some clarity how I'm trading and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. So yeah, let's go. Um, so obviously what we had here was, uh, if you were in, yes, last night's Champions live stream, you know, I, I was looking at this range from that high to the first low made here, okay? This was obviously the range that I was looking at, the low here being, by the way, uh, 10,012, okay? Um, and I was saying, I don't think this is gonna be the high. I would be very surprised if this was the high. Okay, and I was on about the possibility of swing failuring to make a higher low to the, to the higher high. But what we have done in the end is we swing failed failure pattern the high and there was limit orders sat in uh, 10,200 okay so you had the limit orders there and you know they actually absorbed all of the market buying uh, so in the end you go did get a move down but no higher high for no higher low formed and just straight down okay so firstly why was the drop so quick okay the drop was so quick simply very simply because of the fact we lost this low okay so as soon as you lost this low um, basically the drop was just fueled by a lot of stop losses coming off okay so we had a lot a lot of stop losses as soon as you took that low okay so you can see that was the first low formed and as I was like mentioning in yesterday's stream as well that when you formed a range okay when you formed a range the first low made keeps making higher lows okay so it's a continuous pattern that the first low made we do not break the first low of, of what's been happening re recently so this was obviously the first big difference we lit we lost the first low and obviously that was you know uh easy to say now i suppose but you know that's where all the stop losses were okay so people are training their stop losses up to the first low and i guess this is not hindsight because i was making people aware of this in yesterday's video but uh, you know, that's where people will have traded their stop losses as soon as you took that low. That was definitely the red flag. Uh, you know, that this this pattern that we were going on here is different than the last few times. So, um, you know, you take that, you take all the stop losses, and obviously that's just a lot of sell orders. Everybody that's long has just been trailing, 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 likely trailed here, especially while taking the highs. 
and then you take that low and you get a big sell off very very quickly what this does is now it sort of brings um you know in my opinion it was a good opportunity to long the dip okay and uh, i was trading primarily off of the cme gap okay so this is why i had my orders waiting last night uh, as i as i said i wasn't entering any swing longs in here up here because i didn't view this as a good value area to add to a swing long i wanted this retrace so i, I was quite happy that we got a retrace so i was trading off of the futures gap <clears throat> which uh, sat on the four hour chart here at uh, 9885. And because of the last few times that we've seen this, we slightly front run the gap, we slightly front run the gap and we slightly front run the gap. So the last three gaps didn't get filled. Uh, so my orders were waiting for a slight front run of this one, I think by $10. I'll show you on the challenge account. Uh, uh, the, the, yeah. <clears throat> so I was buying 9,894. Okay, so you can see that's about ten dollars uh, front run of of this futures gap. Obviously, there are different prices. I'm aware of that, but uh, yeah, I was going for a slight front run of the futures gap. Okay, and uh, in the end, I you know this is the thing is small profits, but nevertheless profits. Okay, so I, I bought nine eight nine four this is while i was asleep by the way so i got filled on this at 6 a.m while, while i was sleeping but obviously i had my alerts go off um and then my reasoning of closing that were nine thousand nine hundred and twenty five was the fact that we done this okay so was the fact that we done this on the lower term time frames okay so i was getting filled around here so this is why i was getting filled on a quick drop down could have laddered it in and that would have been a better you know better idea to be honest but nevertheless uh, got filled on the on the quick whip to the downside we then quickly came back up and all we done though was we test this old support so the old support here as resistance came back down lower high and then when we made this lower low that was my reasoning for getting out of that trade um so yeah i just closed it out in market again it's slight profits but at the end of the day profits are profits so yeah, that, that was my trade that I got filled on overnight and, and reasonings of why I closed that out. So I hope that has been helpful for you of explaining that trade. So as you can see, I'm actually in no position on this challenge account again at the moment. But, um, you know, I am actually going to be looking for a long position. Um <clears throat> Partly because I, I feel that this move has been fueled very much so by, uh, let me try and load the website I want here. Okay, so I want this one. Uh, this move has been fueled very much so by liquidations. Okay, so we see a lot of liquidations to the downside. We see the open interest drop off heavily. We see 130 million that's sold at market. And now what we get is a really aggressive selling at the lows again. So we're seeing 6 million, 12 million, 9 million, 17 million, 25 million, 14 million, 18 million, 12, 22 million. It's really, really, really aggressive selling at the lows. You can see we have some uh, divergences here with uh, the CVD making a lower low, but we're actually making higher lows on price. So this is, um, in my opinion, yeah. Uh, again, not financial advice. You need to do what you're going to do because I'm not telling you at all what to do here. But, uh, you know, I'm going to look for a long because I do believe that this is a good opportunity to essentially long the dip. Um, <clears throat> what I would like to see, though, the reason I'm not entering it already is because I want to see a bit more confirmation. Okay, there's two steps of confirmation that we can get. We can wait for a trend change, okay, and this could be down on the 15 minute here. So we want to see this trend change start, and then you can have more confidence in the low being here. Or alternatively, claiming 10K. I think if we can come up here, and it might go something along these lines, if we can claim 10K, Oh, that would be very, very healthy. So 10,026. If we can get back above here, uh, yeah, I, I'm fairly certain we go on to uh, 10,400 as the next sort of uh, uh, level, okay? We're training level to level. Obviously, there's levels above that, but that would be the next level for me. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm you know really certain that if we can get back above this level, then you've got an easy 400 at least um, dollar uh, rise to come. So that's claiming 10k. So if you want to be really safe at the moment, if you're feeling really scared or whatever, then just 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 sit out. Okay, don't try and trade this. I would say you, you have to be fairly good at trading to trade this. Um, so if you don't feel confident, then literally just wait until 10k is claimed. Okay, whether you buy here or whether you buy here, I don't. You, you really shouldn't care because. You know, this is like a confirmation safety barrier. Claim this and you should be feeling fairly confident that you'd have built up some price action here to, um, you know, have a, st uh, have a you know, relatively close, close stop loss to trade up to 10.4, to be honest. So um, that's one way that you could wait off confirmation. The, the second way was a 15 minute trend change. And the third, well, the third way I would say is that you form more of a, of a range going on here, which would be my kind of favorite scenario, I suppose. Uh, rather than going V-shaped straight back up, I, I don't want to see that, to be honest. What I want to see is, is this range down here, maybe form a rounded bottom, maybe do one more run of the lows. 
okay but nevertheless i want to see it like range here for a while okay okay it doesn't this doesn't have to be the high but ranging for a while why do i want to see this ranging for a while because that will give me great confidence if i can see us range while the aggressive selling continues currently it's really aggressive selling so if we can range while the aggressive selling continues i will be building a long position as long as we hold support okay and the main support for me is 9556 i would say 9500 is still okay okay so yeah give or take this a hundred dollars so nine nine four fifty the absolute low that we cannot really lose otherwise it's bearish in my opinion um but yeah this is really really important support but in the short term what i would like to see is this range okay possibly take the lows um and you know basically end up range bound and the reason why i want to see that is because i'm fairly confident the longer that we range down here the more longs are, uh, sorry the more shorts that are going to be opening you know you can say after after this move down the market's scared okay the market is really scared thinking this is a high this is not healthy this is you know x y and z this is the top you know shorts are open and that's not just me saying that you know we can clearly see here look at this um 250 million cvd at the moment so negative so there's definitely people shorting heavily so the longer that we can range here the more shorts that build up the more fuel that we get to bring this back to the upside if we can claim 10k okay if we cannot claim that then yes you know shorting is obviously going to be a better trade because this is the level that you need to claim to get bullish again if you cannot claim that this is clearly bearish um so you need to claim 10k hence why if you don't feel confident like trading these levels just just wait for that to be claimed um so yeah that's one thing i'd say but yeah basically uh, what i would like to see so just final words i'd like to see this continue range bound okay partly because uh, the longer that we range here the more shorts that are going to build up that's what you need to bring price higher again uh you know get people trapped um see so yeah, i'm not in a long at the moment and just as i wasn't building a swing long up here because i felt it was a bad area to buy uh because of the volume and this is why volume is so helpful because we were moving up okay because we were moving up on it's really helpful if you could have uh, if you were in the champions live stream because i was kind of explaining but uh basically we were moving up here each highs was on like lowish volume okay so we were not moving up with you know price going up and volume going up really easy to show you just here okay so new highs were being made and the volume was not increasing so that was obviously our bearish kind of sign we have sold off here on pretty big volume so that's just to be aware of but that's obviously fueled from a lot of liquidations um <clears throat> See, that's why I wasn't buying up there. But now now we have like got this retrace. We've come back down into an old consolidation period. As long as we don't lose the consolidation period, weekly in fact, uh, I do feel this is a good like opportunity to long the dip. I'm not going to just run straight in and buy it, but I want to see this range. If we continue to range, build up some more bullish divergences here. Uh, yeah, I'll be very, very, very confident in buying this. Okay, so at the moment, I would say I'm a little bit cautious. I am a little bit cautious because of the fact we saw a lot of volume on the sell off because of the fact we have gone support flipped into resistance and sold off again i want to see some evidence that this low is holding and that will come in the form of um either a rounded bottom with aggressive selling or a trend change okay and that then i'll happily buy in and i would add on more size again once we claim this daily level i guess we could say the bottom of that range was really ten thousand and about ten thousand and seven ten thousand and sixty okay so claim ten thousand and sixty is the level i'd want to see claimed really um <clears throat> So yeah, that's what I would say. Like my key level of resistance would be ten thousand and sixty. Key level of support, I'm, I'm going to say nine thousand five hundred, just to give this a little bit of space. But we can really give a hundred dollars of this either side. But let's just say nine four fifty for a key support level. <clears throat> okay, and <clears throat> excuse me, and then uh, for some like key fibs. Okay, what I would say is that we got this one. Okay, the six one eight coming in here nine thousand uh, and fifty. You can see here that the six six is actually at nine thousand four hundred and fifty eight. So we got that sat there, and then on the flip side from this high to the low, we got this. Uh, so yeah, still big resistance. We got the a six one eight there, and to the six six nine thousand. So basically ten thousand and thirty, ten thousand and thirteen. So yeah, we can clearly see this is a big, big resistance level. Okay, we're seeing confluence of why we could reject here um if you get up that high okay so if you get up that high you can still see that that's big resistance um so yeah that that's uh, my update that i can give you all um so final words because i don't want people to panic i suppose uh in my perspective when you zoom out okay you really got to zoom out okay we could drop down and test this weekly and it's still absolutely fine just come up to the daily time frame just come up here onto the daily and say doesn't it look healthy to you if we can test this 
okay it's being like the weekly highs the, you know if we can test that okay when you forget any sort of short term obviously on the short term this looks bad and obviously it is a bearish engulfing candle but um you know at the end of the day if we can retest resistance as support retest resistance as support retest resistance as support and obviously that's been about 9500 it's, it's it's absolutely fine obviously uh, people get very very scared but at the end of the day it's okay to test these levels it's actually healthy you don't want to see price just keep going up and up and up and up and up with no pullbacks because that is not a healthy uptrend okay the, the reason why i've liked so much this uptrend is because of the flips that we have been doing so if we can do that again then you know there's just no reason to panic in my personal opinion um you know there's just no reason to panic i suppose and I will just load up this a second just to put on this disclaimer, I suppose. <laughs> Please read this. Um, but yeah, that's my opinion. That's the update. I uh, hope that this one has been helpful for you. Um, oh yeah, I do want to mention very quickly. If I if I for have forgotten something, I'm sure that there was something that I wanted to remember, uh, for mention that I forgot. Like, I'm fairly certain I'd have forgotten something. And if that's the case, I will literally just put it in the group chat for you. Obviously, I'll be around all day trading this and, and you know how active this group is. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah this was lovely this was a update that the guy um tom made in the uh from the live stream last night so here's some like free alpha for you all of uh yeah notes made during the live streams and this is like for me really 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 impressive and this is like what i want to see people making these notes during the live stream yeah you're, you're gonna do really really well <clears throat> so yeah that was a shout out to tom because that is impressive work uh, and note taking so yeah that was lovely to see really 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 lovely to see and that's what we got here we got the high highs higher lows we made the high and then we got the stop punt so <laughs> um you know this was to be expected if i'm honest and obviously if you had made very good notes like this then you would have um done this so uh yeah moving up on declining volume is a bit bearish so um yeah well done on those notes and what i wanted to mention here what i was actually loading up i just mentioned that i was like yeah that's really cool because his plan played out bought 9780 we're currently sat at 9800 so 825 so